Hi everybody, I'm Danielle Jensen and welcome to my channel. Yes, I know I'm not in my usual kind of backdrop, background thing and that's because this is the I'm hurrying up recording this video because I really need to go to work real soon. Plus if I recorded over by my window like I normally would, the lighting would be even weirder than this. So you guys can't see it from this particular shot but basically uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the new tattoo that I just literally got this morning which if I kind of move up you'll be able to see. There it is, in all of its glory. This is my eighth tattoo and in this video I'm basically just going to be talking you guys through it, how much it costs, how much I would rate the pain. First off, what is it? Well, it is a rose. This cost me £50. I actually got it done by an apprentice artist named Jack. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly where I got it done simply because I don't know whether they would be okay with that but basically uh, I got it done at a place very very close to where I live. This probably would have cost almost double the price uh, at my tattoo studio if I hadn't got it done by the apprentice there which isn't a problem I would have easily paid more money for it but what I am saying is that's why the price could possibly sound a little bit cheap to you so considering he's an apprentice artist I mean look at this it is beautiful placement basically I know it looks a bit scruffy right now because my arm is got ink over it and stuff. Honestly I would have had it a bit further up but obviously I do have my quill there and I also have another tattoo there if you guys don't know and basically the artist was like we'll move it down a little bit and then what that gives you is a bit of room for fillers. I think it actually this placement here looks a lot better than what it would have done if it was pushed up a little bit and it's also where I can easily see the tattoo as well which is brilliant. I mean I love my back tattoos but the only problem I have with my back tattoos is that I can't see them. <laughs> How long did it take to do? This tattoo took 2 hours 40 minutes around about and on the pain scale I would rate it no higher than a 3 out of 10. Uh, to be honest it was not very painful. I got my ribs done a month and a half, 2 months ago now and I found they were a lot more painful. But obviously that is just like my opinion. A lot of people deal with pain in many different ways. So for me, it was no higher than a three out of 10, but for someone else, it could be like a nine. I definitely wanted this rose in color. I've wanted a rose tattoo for so long, you guys. I didn't want something that looked extremely different or um, extreme, if you know what I'm saying. I wanted something that looked uh, relatively natural but with kind of like a cartoony vibe to it if you know what I'm saying so obviously you do have like the traditional red rose with the green in the leaves but then you've got like these goldy bits here and at some points you do have like quite thick outlines something that looks natural but it's got kind of like a cartoonish sort of vibe to it as well meaning uh, it actually doesn't have much of a meaning out of all of my tattoos this is probably the one with the least meaning uh, basically I love what roses represent I love that they represent love and also with flowers it's kind of similar to the tattoos I got on my ribs it kind of represents um, blossoming I'm developing I'm changing and growing as a person and it's just the fact that I do really love roses and I've wanted one for ages comment down below any suggestions of for videos you guys want to see me do I love hearing your suggestions of what you think I should do next if you're new here make sure to click on that subscribe button and if you like this video give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching I do hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video see you later